Howdy fly fish food people, Cheech here with another caddis pattern. Unless this is the first, <laughs> unless this is the first caddis that you're watching, then this is the first one. Anyway, um, this is a fluttering caddis pattern that's uh, representative of when the flies are on the water, kind of skittering around. They have their wings extended and uh, already adults, stuff like that. So they're enjoying adult beverages. They're listening to Michael Bolton. They've got fanny packs on. Uh, they're disciplining their kids, you know, so that's the caddis we're tying. Um, this is a Daiichi 1130. It's one of the best caddis fly hooks around. If you can see, that's offset. So a lot of times with caddis, they're really aggressive takes. And the offset hook point helps you to hook more of those, those fish. So if you tie this fly, don't straighten the hook out like this. Just leave it crooked. One time I had a customer, not saying any names, but they uh, tried to return some of these because they thought they were all bent. Well, joke's on you, buddy. All right, so I'm going to put on some ADOT Camel Uni Thread. And this is a pretty simple pattern. Um, I'm going to take some span flex i think this is brown or brown olive or you could even do like chartreuse on this one to rib it to give it some effect but i'm going to tie down the the bend a little bit that's too far right there's good and then i'm going to dub the body there's a really cool color called brown olive um that I'm going to make this one. It's Nature Spirit Snowshoe Foot Dub. Is that what they call it? Snowshoe Rabbit Foot Dubbing. Hmm. Learn something every day. All right. So I'm just going to dub that forward. It's going to be pretty buggy. Maybe a little bit more. And I'm going to pull this span flex really tight and rib it through there. You could probably leave that off, but I kind of like the effect that it gives it. Just kind of a buggy mean looking caddis caddis are great flies for beginners because they can look super ratty you don't have to have a drag free drift when you fish them they're just like a beginner's dream right curtis that's right he's still new so for an underwing i'm going to use this awesome trout hunter premium cdc in caddis dun color this is what a fistful of it looks like, but you can see those feathers are super full. Okay, so I've taken two of the feathers and I've lined up the tips. And I'm going to make a little overwing on this bad boy. And instead of trimming those off, I'm just gonna fold them back over the top of itself and cut it at an angle. So that's going to give it some really floaty properties there. Now to create the spent wings over the top of the fly, well first of all I'm going to cover up my thread wraps a little bit. Just with a little bit more of that same dubbing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some March Brown colored EP trigger point fibers. They're, uh, they're pretty buoyant. And I'm going to tie, that one didn't work. I'm going to tie one side, or I'm going to tie uh, it onto one side of the fly and then just loop it over to the other side. Get it to where I can see it. And just tie those wings on either side of the body. 
So when caddis fly around, their wings are super spent and the CDC will kind of help push them out there. So I'm gonna tie or cut those off a little bit longer than the CDC. So those are our spent wings. And then I'm gonna make a little over wing of X caddis hair. And this is natural dark. As you can see, I wrote it in Curtis's blood. I stabbed him and then I hold, held his little finger over this so I could write that in there. Anyway, cut off a, a fair chunk of that, clean out the hair and stack it. All right, once I have all the hair aligned how I want it, I'm gonna put that over so that it's about the same length as that CDC and I'll give two loose, loose-ish wraps and just kind of tighten it down, not crazy tight, because it's just a dot thread. And then I'll take up little clumps of it, little by little, and work my way forward till I get to here. And now I'm just going to grab the, 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 the hairs up by the top and trim that off. So that's, again, a, a pretty buggy little caddis. Uh, fish it with floatant that is designed for CDC like Loon Loxa or Tiemco uh, Dry Magic. But you can see it has that nice caddis -y profile for when they're fluttering all around. Even Curtis can catch fish on this and it's better than a chimera. The end.